Fall Guys. It can't be that hard to win, right? Well, that depends on a couple factors. What kind of teammates you get and the mini games that get chosen. I selected duos mode and hoped to get a good teammate and in the first round it seemed like it happened. Surely this means we win. Wait, I've never played this one before. And my teammate died instantly? That's all good though, we'll win next time. Yeah, about that. This might not be so easy after all. In this moment I realized that getting a strong oh, yeah. teammate was crucial. Because if your teammate falls off quickly oh, in a survival based no. game, you can't win. Despite luck generally not being on my side, I was determined to succeed. Well, maybe not in this round. However, the next round actually went pretty well and for the first time I made it to the final round. This was my big chance. I had to get that crown. And then I did it. I'm just messing with you. I wasn't even close. Two back to back games go by where I do well individually but get eliminated anyway. After that, a very interesting thing happened. Me and my teammate both survived the first minigame, but in the second round, they disconnected mid-game, and I still qualified somehow? I don't know, but now I'm in the finale without a teammate, and guess what? What? I didn't win. Bruh. Fast forward a few games, now we're doing awesome. Finishing the race very quickly, surviving Wipeout, and we even made it to the final round. And they perished right away. And I didn't do great either. Back to the lab again. Next game was Flashback Central with my team unaliving instantly. After seemingly getting a good teammate, the game decided to be a good time to fail to download the level and kick me out. <laughs> I'm crying. A bit later I had a series of unfortunate events. Me and my teammate barely missing the finish line, getting eliminated despite not falling again, not qualifying in Hoverboard Heroes again, and despite finishing the race still getting eliminated. But now I reached the finale again. Oh, I fell off faster than fidget spinners. And my teammate is using questionable methods to what? try to win. Hey look, it's Abra. And Doctor Strange over here seems to have gotten banned. That went well. I managed to qualify in the first round despite my teammates disconnecting for the 700th time. If I had a nickel for every time. But I got a bit discombobulated in the second one. <laughs> I'll just roll the clip for the next game. If we just keep running, we'll be fine. Ah, never mind! <laughs> 10 minutes after a game crash, I had to restart the game again. But in the very next game, I got a really good teammate. We survived round one and finished second and fourth in the race. So yet again, we've got a shot at winning. We were kind of close, but we didn't emerge victorious. Now one hour and 47 minutes into the challenge, hope of winning was lowering with every loss in the finale. Game after game, I'd play at my best, but i just keep getting eliminated from teammates falling, not finishing, or disconnecting. However, after almost half an hour of not getting into the finals, I made it. But I screwed up and fell off pretty quickly. I did get second though, somehow. After another half an hour of failure, I was back. Back again. Two race games down. Now it's winning time or something, right? Well, I ended up in a 1v2 and they took turns. One was hitting me while the other was grabbing me. But you won, right? Of course not. Another game crash and way too many eliminations later, I got a chance to redeem myself in the finale game. I got second on earlier. And although I lived a lot longer, I got second yet again. The curse is strong with this one. Surprisingly, not very long after, I did really well and got fourth on the first map, third on a very cool music themed map, and got to the finals again. I lost by the way. After three and a half hours of not winning in duos mode, I decided to switch to squads mode hoping to have better luck. The first game was nothing special, and the second one though, that's another story. In Tail Tag I became John Cena, I swear nobody even saw me that entire time. In the Wipeout game we qualified again, then it was time for the finals. The odds of winning are 50-50 as there's 4 players on each squad and there's 2 teams in this round. So mathematically, my chances are higher than ever before going in. Did that help? No, not really, but it was probably the closest I've gotten. Around the 4 hour mark I got knocked off the map by my own teammate, and at this point I was super hungry, so I ended the first stream. This was all streamed here on YouTube and on Twitch by the way, links in the description. It was a new day, I was feeling good, and I had even more confidence than yesterday. I had a great start with the whole squad finishing the first race map and me getting second on the next one. We won't talk about the third round. The next 15 minutes or so didn't go too well, but after that we finally got another shot at the finale. My teammates ended up in a 2v1, but unfortunately lost. But this time I was determined. I had to activate ultimate skill. Me and my team all did really good in the first round, and in the next minigame I mostly stayed still and survived. Now we're in the final round for the second game in a row. I was ready, willing, and able to win. I couldn't lose with odds of 50-50 this many times, right? 
Right at the start, one of my team members fell off and it very quickly became a 2v2. Then I knocked somebody off the platform and then it was a 2v1. The odds were now very much in our favor to win. But wait, this happened last game too. But this time there's a difference. I'm on the battlefield. Me and my teammate just kept trying to knock the last person off the platform, and eventually this happened. Oh, wait, we won! We did it! Let's go! Four and a half hours of Fall Guys, and we won! If you want to try this challenge for yourself, my advice is don't. Unless you have nothing better to do with a bunch of time. Click here to watch another one of my challenge videos.